Welcome into the Alabama Football Report. I am your host today, Chris Daughtry, and we're going to be breaking down our winners and losers from A-Day today. But before we get into the video, if you're just excited to see some Alabama football finally back, make sure you like today's video. Now, there was a little bit of a different format this year. It was offense versus defense opposed to, you know, crimson and white like we normally see. And the offense ended up taking this one away had a great first half, put up, you know, I think it was 31 points in the first half. It's kind of a tale of two halves, though. The defense really came along in the second half and ended up, you know, being a pretty good game overall, I thought. So let's get into today's show. The winners will start off here. Number one for me, Jam Miller. He ended up being the MVP of today's A-Day game. And there was one point, I think he finished with seven carries, 77 yards and two touchdowns on the day. He came in, you know, we really thought that Justice Haynes was really going to be the running back one for this team. After what we saw from him last year, super highly touted out of high school, but Jam Miller was the guy that really showed out for me today. Like we said, he was the offensive MVP, I think just overall MVP for today's game, and he came out, he was just an absolute dog, and he showed why he's going to be a top running back for this team in 2024. Number four winner for me today was the offensive line. I thought they played pretty well overall, that starting group anyways. You know, we saw some you know, bad snaps from some of the backup uh, centers, but for me, James Brockermeyer played really, really well. He didn't get beat a lot right up the middle. Great snaps overall. You know, we didn't see any bad snaps from him today. Um, but they looked really, really good. And James Brockermeyer, I think, really has solidified himself as center one, you know, at least going into fall next year. Now, there will still be a center battle probably between him and Parker Brailsford, but to me, I think James Brockermeyer went a long way today, you know, in the confidence of this, this staff, the fans' confidence as well for being center one along the offensive line as well. You know, we saw the normal guys, Tyler Booker in there, and um, Jaden Roberts even played today, even having that ankle injury after suffering that in uh, scrimmage number two last week. And, I mean, I thought they all played really, really well. There was a really good push, and in the run game, I think that's really what helped Jam Miller and Justice Haynes out so well, was the push on that offensive line against the defensive line, who is going to be really, really good. There's a lot of good guys on that defensive line. So my number two winner today, or number four counting down, is the offensive line. My number three winner today is Ty Simpson. I thought Ty Simpson looked really, really good overall today. Um, you know, he's still going to be quarterback, too. Don't get me wrong at all. Jalen Milrow is still the starting quarterback on this team, but I think Ty Simpson showed us that in a pinch, he can come out here and be a starting quarterback for this team, you know, as long as nothing happens to Jalen Milrow. So let me know your one-word reaction to Alabama's performance in today's A-Day game. My one word is probably good enough. That's not really one word, but overall, I thought everybody played really well. And, you know, it's spring. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. They're learning a new system on offense and defense. So at the end of the day, they were decent. That'll be my one word, decent. My number two winner on the day today was Red Morgan. Red Morgan absolutely looked like that dude today. Um, you know, he's a freshman DB and in a DB room that, you know, we are very, very light on and probably am, are going to have to pick up some more DBs in the transfer portal this year. I thought Red Morgan really stood out for this team today and he was just all over the field making plays all over um, and just really, he was also one of these guys that has been talked about throughout the spring. And I think just everybody really being able to see it finally come to fruition for him 
is really, really nice to see. I think it was Kobe Prentice a couple days ago said that Red Morgan kind of reminded him of Caleb Downs um, in the way he was just able to come in immediately and being an impact freshman in the spring and being able to pick up the, uh, you know, the defense that uh, Kane Womack now has implemented in this team. I thought Red Morgan did really, really well on a day today for the Alabama defense. My number one winner today is going to be Jeremy Bernard. Feel free to disagree in the comments section. I know the wide receivers did not play overall very well as a group, but Jeremy Bernard, man, he came in, had two really, really big catches at the beginning of the game. I think he had three or four catches overall today. Um, it just looked really, really good. He obviously is going to be one of the top receivers on this team. And I, I just really liked what I saw from Jeremy Bernard today in Alabama spring game. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Spring is here, which means we have baseball to watch, along with playoff basketball and hockey. And you shouldn't have to miss any of the action because of ticket prices. With Game Time, you can get killer last-minute deals and all-in prices for all of the big events. There's nothing more frustrating than spending time searching for the best ticket prices, which is why you should give Game Time a shot. They have flash deals, zone deals, and the lowest prices guaranteed. If you're trying to catch a game, a concert, or any other event in your local area, download Game Time today and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. I love that Game Time gives you views from your seats before you purchase your ticket, so there's no surprises when you show up. Just like that middle one right there, Alabama versus Arkansas baseball. Now, that game is already ongoing right now, but because of game time, you can get tickets after the start of the event. Plus, everybody hates hidden fees. But with game time, they give you an all-in price option, so you really know how much the tickets are going to cost before you end up buying them. It's the best place to find last-minute seats Download the Game Time app today, create your account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Now, terms do apply, but again, create your account and redeem code CHATSPORTS, that's C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, for $20 off your first purchase with Game Time. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. We're going to get into some losers now, and unfortunately, number five for me on this list is Jalen Milrow. He did not have his best day. He started off on the day two for two for 84 yards, and then after that, I'm pretty sure he went over. I don't think he completed a pass after that. Now, it wasn't all his fault. There were a lot, a lot of drop passes on the day, um, but overall, you know, Jalen Milrow, I think... Is, he's obviously still the starting quarterback on this team. And it's spring. I'm going to keep saying that. Um, but at the end of the day, it was not his best day overall. My number four loser on the day is going to be Joseph Ayanata, unfortunately. He kind of filled in that Parker Brailsford role today at that backup center position. And unfortunately, we saw it again. There were a lot of bad snaps on today, a lot of low snaps. He rolled a couple back there to both Jalen Milrow and Austin Mack when he got his shot in there. Um, and he was also he also got blown up a couple of times on the defensive line or front by the defensive line. And it's just, you know, he's he's a fourth string offensive or a third string offensive lineman. He's not going to be in there for meaningful snaps next year. It's either going to be James Brockermeyer or Parker Brailsford if anything happens, you know, barring anything happening with Parker Brailsford, I assume he's still going to be on this team. My number three losers on the day were the wide receivers. My God, the wide receivers were not good. They were not good at all. They dropped a lot of balls. Um, and if they caught a couple of the balls, like I said for Jalen Milrow, he would have looked a whole lot better. Now, I know my number one winner was Jeremy Bernard, he even dropped a ball. Emmanuel Henderson dropped a ball. Cole Adams dropped a ball. Bernard, or, um, Jeremy Bernard dropped a ball. And just overall, it was not a good show, in my opinion, by these wide receivers. Um, you can't have that. 
That was something that we were worried about a whole lot last year as well with drops. But I'm going to keep saying it, guys. It is the spring, and hopefully by the time, you know, September, August rolls around, these guys are, you know, going to be hitting the jug machine, and they're going to, you know, have soft hands and be able to, you know, reel in those passes. So let me know right now in the comment section, guys, who are you more confident in? Type O for the offense or D for the defense. It could honestly go either way, to be honest with you guys, because the offense looked really good in the first half, bad in the second half. Defense looked really bad in the first half, pretty decent in the second half. So let me know in the comment section who you guys have more confidence, O for offense or D for defense. Now, Casey Poe, he went in with the twos and looked pretty good while he was in there, to be honest with you guys. But I put him on the losers because he was seen walking off the field with his left arm in a sling. So if, you're, if, you, if you get injured during one of these, you know, during a game or during A day or something like that, unfortunately, you're going to end up on the loser's side of it. Now, we don't know any kind of update on what happened. Um, I didn't even see it happen. A-Day was kind of hard to follow on ESPN, to be honest with you guys. But, you know, Casey Poe seen walking off the field with his left arm in a sling. So he's going to land on our losers today. And our number one loser on the day was the defense. The defense, like I said, looked really, really bad in the first half. Kind of came along in the second half. Um, and They only allowed the offense to score three points in the second half as well, but the main reason, besides losing a day in this new format, the losers eat beans for dinner, baby, and the winners eat steak. I'm so glad Kalen DeBoer is keeping that, you know, as a tradition here at Alabama, as Nick Saban, you know, started, and, you know, hope you guys enjoy those beans for dinner. We, just because, you know, spring stops doesn't mean we do. The transfer portal opens up in two days on April 15th, and this transfer portal session is going to go absolutely insane, so we will keep you guys updated on everything. If Alabama gets, you know, a new commit here after A-Day, we'll have a short probably for you guys on that, so make sure you are subscribed right here to the Alabama Football Report. Mm -hmm.